King Charles III announced he will step down from royal duties, with Prince William set to become King William V. This has sent shockwaves through the British monarchy and the UK. Royal succession follows strict rules, and it is rare for a monarch to abdicate. The last was King Edward VIII in 1936. Charles's decision to step down is unprecedented in modern times. For a nation that treasures its traditions, this dramatic move has sparked widespread discussion. Why would a king, after only a brief reign, relinquish the throne so suddenly? Could it be the weight of royal duty, the media's harsh glare, or a deeper desire to pave the way for a younger, fresher monarch? In the midst of such monumental change, there is a palpable sense of anticipation across the country. The monarchy, centuries old and filled with tales of both grandeur and controversy, is about to enter a new era. King Charles has been a figure of global scrutiny for most of his life, his every action examined through the lens of the public eye. Despite years of preparing for the crown, he has faced criticism, comparisons to his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, and immense pressure to uphold royal standards. His decision to step aside for his eldest son speaks to the very heart of what it means to wear the crown in the 21st century. Times have changed. The role of a monarch has evolved, as has the world around them. And for Charles, it appears the realization came that now was the time to hand over the reins to someone who could better navigate the complexities of modern royal life. The anticipation for William's reign is now building, with questions swirling about what kind of king he will be. The son of Charles and the late Princess Diana, William has long been a beloved figure in the public eye. His approachable, modern image, along with his deep commitment to his family, has endeared him to many. His role as a father to three young children, and his stable marriage to Catherine, Princess of Wales, has made him a relatable and respected figure, not just in the UK but globally. As he takes on the mantle of King William V, there's a sense that a new chapter for the monarchy is about to begin. William represents a fresh perspective, a leader who balances royal duty with the demands of a rapidly changing world. His passion for mental health advocacy, his work on the environment, and his involvement in charitable causes have already made him stand out as a forward-thinking royal. Now, as king, he will have the chance to reshape the monarchy for a new generation. However, the challenges ahead are immense. William will inherit a monarchy that, despite its centuries of tradition, faces growing calls for modernization. There are those who see the institution as outdated, even questioning its relevance in today's global society. Others remain steadfast in their support, valuing the monarchy's stability, history, and national pride. As king, William will have to navigate these opposing viewpoints, balancing the need for reform with the preservation of tradition. The role of Catherine, the new queen consort, will also be crucial. Since marrying William in 2011, she has been a steadfast and graceful presence within the royal family. Her dedication to her duties, coupled with her natural charm, has won her widespread admiration. Now, as queen consort, she will play an even greater role in shaping the future of the monarchy. Her work on issues such as mental health and children's well-being will continue, but with an even higher profile. In this time of transition, the entire world is watching. The British monarchy, as a ceremonial head of the Commonwealth, holds influence far beyond the borders of the UK. Some nations, such as Jamaica and Barbados, are reassessing their ties with the crown. William's approach to these nations will be crucial in determining whether they choose to remain within the Commonwealth or pursue independence. His ability to engage with these countries in a meaningful way could help redefine the monarchy's global image for the better. For all the challenges that lie ahead, there is a growing sense of optimism surrounding William's reign. He has proven himself as a compassionate leader, someone who understands the importance of blending tradition with innovation. His environmental advocacy, particularly through his Earthshot Prize, 
has positioned him as a leader in global efforts to tackle climate change. His commitment to mental health, inspired by his personal experiences, has helped break down stigmas and create more open conversations around the subject. As King William V steps into his new role, he will also face the task of reconciling with his brother, Prince Harry. The two brothers, once close, have grown apart in recent years, and Harry's decision to step back from royal duties has only deepened the divide. However, with a new reign comes new possibilities. Many are hopeful that William's ascension to the throne could be an opportunity for the two brothers to mend their relationship and for the royal family to present a united front once again. King Charles's decision to step down, though unexpected, may well be a reflection of his understanding of the times. At 75, he has spent most of his life in the public eye, with the pressures of royal life weighing heavily on him. The demands of being a modern monarch, coupled with the intense scrutiny from the media and public, are not easy to bear. By choosing to step aside now, Charles may be making a wise decision, not just for himself, but for the future of the monarchy. The transition to William's reign signifies a generational shift within the royal family. While Queen Elizabeth II's reign was marked by stability and steadfast adherence to tradition, William's reign is expected to bring a more modern approach. The world has changed since Elizabeth first ascended the throne, and the challenges that face the monarchy today are vastly different. William's leadership will be tested as he works to keep the monarchy relevant in a world that is increasingly questioning its purpose. Yet, despite the challenges, there is hope that William, with his modern outlook and strong sense of duty, will be able to successfully navigate this new era. He has already shown that he is capable of leading with compassion and understanding. His ability to connect with people, both in the UK and around the world, will be one of his greatest strengths as he steps into the role of king. The news of King Charles's abdication may have come as a shock, but it also marks the beginning of a new and exciting chapter for the British monarchy. With King William V now at the helm, there is a sense of renewal and possibility. The monarchy, while steeped in history and tradition, has always managed to evolve and adapt to the times. Under William's leadership, it will have the chance to do so once again. In the days and months ahead, all eyes will be on the new king as he begins his reign. The challenges will be many, but with the support of his family and the goodwill of the public, King William V has the potential to lead the monarchy into a bright and hopeful future. His reign will be one to watch closely, as he works to strike the perfect balance between honoring the past and embracing the future. As King William V begins his reign, the atmosphere in the UK and around the world is one of cautious optimism. His leadership brings with it the possibility of bridging the gap between a centuries-old institution and the modern world. William's approach, so far, has been marked by thoughtful consideration of both tradition and the demands of a fast-changing society, making him a figure that both younger generations and longtime royal supporters can look up to. The challenges awaiting King William V are vast and varied. The monarchy has always had to contend with shifts in public opinion, but never before has it been under such scrutiny. The world is more connected than ever and opinions are formed and disseminated at lightning speed. Every word spoken by a monarch, every decision made, is instantly analyzed, discussed, and debated. In this age of social media and 24-hour news, Maintaining a positive public image is both more important and more difficult than ever before. This is where William's unique qualities come into play. His ability to relate to people, his down-to-earth demeanor, and his clear passion for causes that matter to the public give him an edge in maintaining the monarchy's relevance. His work on mental health, for instance, has struck a chord with many, as he has been open about his personal experiences offering a rare glimpse into the emotional lives of the royal family. William has shown that being a monarch in the 21st century doesn't mean being distant or untouchable, it means being relatable, compassionate, and willing to engage with the issues of the day.
Catherine, now queen consort, will also be a vital part of this new royal chapter. Her role, while always significant, will now take on new dimensions as she steps into this higher-profile position. Catherine's calm and graceful presence has long been a steadying influence within the royal family, and she has earned admiration for her dedication to her causes. As queen consort, her work on children's well-being, mental health, and early childhood development will undoubtedly continue, but she will now have an even greater platform from which to influence positive change. Together, William and Catherine represent a modern royal couple, one that blends royal tradition with the sensibilities of contemporary life. Their partnership has always been one of mutual respect and shared purpose, and this will likely be one of the defining features of their time on the throne. The public has come to see them as a united force, working together to uphold the values of the monarchy while also driving it forward into the future. While the royal family's internal dynamics have been closely watched over the years, the relationship between William and his brother, Prince Harry, is particularly significant at this moment. The distance between the brothers, especially following Harry's move to the United States and his decision to step back from royal duties, has been the subject of much speculation. Many are hopeful that with William now as king, there may be an opportunity for reconciliation. A united royal family would certainly send a strong message of stability and solidarity, something that would be especially valuable in these times of change. The global stage is also a key area where William's leadership will be tested. As the ceremonial head of the Commonwealth, the British monarchy holds a unique position in international relations. Yet, several nations within the Commonwealth have been reconsidering their ties to the monarchy, with some, like Barbados, already choosing to become republics. William will need to approach these delicate matters with diplomacy and tact, respecting each nation's right to self-determination while also working to maintain strong ties where possible. William's environmental advocacy will be another defining aspect of his reign. His commitment to fighting climate change, as demonstrated through his Earthshot Prize, positions him as a leader in one of the most critical global issues of our time. The prize, which aims to find innovative solutions to the planet's environmental challenges, reflects William's forward-thinking approach and his desire to make a lasting impact. As king, he will have the opportunity to further champion environmental causes, and his leadership on this front could help guide the UK and other nations toward more sustainable futures. The future of the British monarchy, under William's reign, seems to hold the promise of a more modern and compassionate institution. Yet, the weight of tradition is never far behind. One of the key challenges William will face is how to maintain the deep sense of history, and continuity that the monarchy represents, while also ensuring that it evolves to meet the expectations of today's society. There will be difficult decisions to make, particularly when it comes to addressing calls for reform or even abolition from certain quarters. However, there is reason to believe that William is up to the task. His life, from a young age, has been one of preparation. He has been trained, watched, and groomed for this moment yet he also brings his own unique perspective and sensibilities to the role. He is a man who has grown up in the spotlight, but who has also demonstrated an understanding of what it means to serve the public in a meaningful way. King Charles's decision to step down, while shocking, may ultimately prove to be a wise one. By handing over the crown to William now, Charles has allowed the monarchy to enter a new era with fresh energy and leadership. Charles's own legacy will be shaped by his environmental activism, his modern views on certain issues, and now, by his decision to prioritize the future of the monarchy over his personal reign. His choice to step aside for the good of the institution reflects a deep sense of duty, one that has been passed down to his son. As William takes his place on the throne, the future of the monarchy will be shaped not only by his actions, but by the evolving relationship between the royal family and the public. In an age of rapid change, the ability to adapt while maintaining a sense of continuity will be crucial. 
Williams' reign holds the potential to strike that delicate balance, preserving the best of the monarchy's traditions while embracing the need for progress and modernization. The public, both in the UK and around the world, will be watching closely as King William V begins this new chapter in royal history. There is an undeniable sense of excitement and anticipation, mixed with the inevitable challenges that come with such a monumental shift. But with his grounded, modern approach, his strong family support, and his clear vision for the future, William has the opportunity to lead the monarchy through this time of transition and into a brighter, more inclusive future. In the end, King William V's reign will likely be remembered not just for the changes he brings to the monarchy, but for the way he embodies the values of compassion, service, and dedication that have long been at the heart of the British royal family. His journey as king is just beginning, but already, there is hope that he will rise to the occasion and leave a lasting legacy for generations to come. As King William V's reign unfolds, the eyes of the world will remain fixed on how he navigates the many responsibilities and expectations that come with being a modern monarch. He is stepping into a role that is both steeped in tradition and increasingly open to scrutiny in today's fast-paced, digitally connected world. But this is where William's strengths lie, his ability to balance the weight of centuries-old customs with the need for contemporary relevance. His relationship with the public has always been characterized by a deep sense of empathy. Unlike previous generations of royals who maintained a more distant, formal demeanor, William has demonstrated time and again that he is a king for the people. Whether through his involvement in mental health campaigns, his openness about his personal challenges, or his hands-on approach to fatherhood, William has cultivated an image that resonates with ordinary citizens. The love and admiration for William are further amplified by his marriage to Catherine, now Queen Consort. The couple, often referred to as the modern face of the monarchy, have together redefined what it means to be royal in the 21st century. Their partnership is one of mutual support and shared goals, with Catherine standing as a powerful and influential figure in her own right. Her focus on early childhood development, mental health, and social causes has positioned her as a champion for important issues, and her calm, reassuring presence is seen as a steadying force in the royal family. Catherine's new role as queen consort will bring with it even more responsibilities, but her ability to juggle the demands of public life while raising her three children has already shown that she is more than capable of rising to the challenge. Her popularity among the British public has only grown over the years, and she is frequently cited as a key factor in the monarchy's enduring appeal to younger generations. Together, William and Catherine represent the monarchy's ability to evolve while maintaining the dignity and grace expected of royal figures. Despite their strengths, the couple will face numerous challenges ahead. Chief among these is the ongoing question of the monarchy's relevance in a changing world. Public attitudes toward the royal family have shifted significantly over the past few decades, with increasing calls for reform or even the abolition of the monarchy in some quarters. While many still cherish the stability and continuity the monarchy represents, others question whether the institution has a place in modern, democratic societies. William's challenge will be to address these concerns while preserving the core values that the monarchy embodies. He will need to find ways to make the royal family more accessible and relatable, while still maintaining the sense of grandeur and tradition that many people find comforting. This delicate balancing act will define much of his reign, and how successfully he manages it will shape the future of the monarchy for years to come. In addition to these domestic concerns, William will also need to navigate the monarchy's role on the global stage. As the head of the Commonwealth, he will be responsible for maintaining relationships with the 56 nations that are part of this international organization. In recent years, there has been growing debate among some of these nations about their continued ties to the British monarchy, with some choosing to become republics. William's ability to engage diplomatically and respectfully with these countries will be key to ensuring that the Commonwealth remains a relevant and united body in the years ahead. 
One of the most significant areas where William will likely make his mark is in environmental advocacy. His Earthshot Prize, which aims to find innovative solutions to the world's most pressing environmental challenges, has already garnered global attention and praise. As king, William will have an even larger platform to push for meaningful action on climate change and environmental sustainability. His commitment to these causes is well documented, and he has positioned himself as a leader on these issues at a time when the world is increasingly recognizing the urgency of addressing the climate crisis. This environmental focus is not only a reflection of William's personal passion, but also a way for the monarchy to align itself with the concerns of younger generations. Climate change is one of the defining issues of our time, and by championing this cause, William is ensuring that the monarchy remains relevant to the world's future. His leadership in this area could have far-reaching implications, not just for the UK but for global efforts to combat climate change. Meanwhile, within the royal family itself, the relationship between William and his younger brother, Prince Harry, remains a topic of significant public interest. The brothers have been estranged for several years, with Harry and his wife Meghan's departure from royal duties and move to the United States adding to the tension. However, with William now on the throne, there is hope that the two might find a way to heal their relationship. A united royal family would not only be a personal triumph, 